Hi everyone, so welcome to Etsy for Values. So today I want to talk about Etsy, and Etsy is doing extremely well. If we look at the share price, they've gone from a low of $31 to a high of $135. And even with that increase, I feel like they're still very, very undervalued because I'm looking at this company and basically they're so unique in what they do because particularly um, in their size, this is like a uh, an Amazon for uh, crafts. So like as they say, they support independent sellers and you know, they're doing such a good job because uh, we'll go through the revenues in a minute, but they are amazing. So we'll look at this site just to get some, you know, familiarity of what they might do. So they're unique everything because everything is handcraft and it's amazing, you know, to have such a platform that kind of promotes independent sellers and, you know, they've done everything quite well. Um, so if we kind of like go to the revenues, because I'm sure by now you can kind of see that they're basically, they sell home crafts, they are basically the Amazon of it, and you know, they are doing very well. So if we look at the revenues, uh, back in 2017, it was 0.44 billion, and it had grown 20% on a prior year, um, and it followed that up in 2018 with an increase of 36% and in 2019 an increase of the prior year for the revenues of 35% and in, in the last 12 months they've gone and increased their revenue by 60% so you can kind of look at these growth rates and think wow how how does this company grow their revenues from 440 million dollars to 1.12 billion and have that growth rate continue to increase usually as revenues grow uh, the growth rate generally declines so it's amazing how they've managed to just increase that over time uh, particularly in the recent 12 months um, but in, to make things even more incredible in the last three months they've done even better in the June quarter uh, the growth rate from the prior year was 136%, which is nothing short of phenomenal. So we look at like a company like this doing this kind of growth rate. Uh, it kind of really re-rates the stock in a you know different different way, right? Uh, but we also have to look at why they're doing really well. Well, uh, one of the big reasons they're doing well. Um, is because Etsy's on fire as reusable face mask sales surge. Um, and yeah, like I'm, that is one of the bigger products that are selling, that's selling really well. Uh, but they're also showing they're engaging the market. They're taking advantage of this opportunity where everyone's at home and purchasing goods. And yeah, as we see here, Etsy helps sell 346 million worth of homemade mask and who would have thought you know that there would be such a massive demand for this uh but it's pretty cool you know um they're selling so much of this product but uh, if we break down their sales it's not necessarily just um from face masks uh they do home furnishing and homeware goods and they do jewelry and accessories um, so this amount of sales that have gone through, not their own revenue, but in terms of overall sales, uh, sales for the qu quarter two was two billion for homeware, uh, one point two billion for uh, jewelry and accessories, and in craft supplies was eight hundred twenty six million, apparel seven hundred seventy four. Uh, paper and party supplies, 316, beauty and personal care, 431. So, like, if we look at this and we go, okay, well, uh, this is pretty incredible. Like, their sales are pretty well diversified, and as you expect of homewares, they tend to be more expensive, so it does take a larger proportion. Um, so, if we look at, um, Mass. If masks were listed as their own category in Etsy's financial results, they'd rank third on the entire site. So third would be right here. They're not quite as big as the 740 million worth of home goods or the 362 million worth of jewellery. Um, but yeah, they are 
quite a sizable portion when you consider um, how much of the face mask they are selling. Um, so, but apart from that, it also gives them so much exposure to sell other products, of course. Um, but it's pretty cool that they've managed to make, you know, make huge gains um, out of being a home craft website, but also, um, you know, helping promote independent sellers. Um, and as we can see here, this is the moment to win the loyalty of millions of people, and this is from the Etsy CEO. Um, so I think they know what the they're trying to go after and it looks like they're winning in a very very big way uh the recent quarter um basically um it showed the company earned 96 million dollars or it was basically up from 18 million dollars a year ago so in terms of probability this company is being you know very very strong in this area as well so i wouldn't bet against this company to continue to do well and I'm looking at a company like Shopify which is at 120 billion valuation and they're about 3 billion uh, in terms of revenue uh, if we uh, do the current run rate uh, whereas Etsy is about 100 and uh, 1.1 1, 1 billion and with the recent increase at 136 percent I'm gonna say uh, like they're just as impressive of course their revenue is not in the same range yet but i would say etsy would have a 30 to 40 billion valuation if we kind of match it up with shopify that these both uh both of these kind of stocks are helping entrepreneurial you know a spirit of selling their own goods um, of course, Shopify has that more website element, whereas Etsy kind of just has a massive platform like Amazon and helps people sell. Um, but I kind of see Etsy as being very, very undervalued. Even at a $16 billion valuation, I think they have a huge, huge opportunity this year and uh, even next year as well. Um, so I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking... Um, yeah, like, even though the share price has moved up so much, I think it has so much more room to just continue to perform really well, um, because, like, I'm looking at this, uh, growth rate of 136%, and if they can continue that on the next quarter, uh, it's going to do wonders for them, because they're going to be growing their revenue at such a high, uh, growth rate that, um yeah i don't think anything else is going to matter and also uh the bonus is that they're very very profitable as well so if we look at this company and we go um they just earned close to 100 million for one quarter if they can do about 400 million uh for the, for basically for the year um yeah we're, we're basically looking at a company that's uh yeah in terms of like p e or p e ratio we're looking at about forty um yeah. and forty is pretty low um when we consider the growth rate of the company so I'd say a massive free rate is just going to be coming for Etsy its share price will likely increase um I'm looking at about maybe about three hundred dollars in terms of uh, potential or that Etsy could go up by um, but of course you know that's just my views um, doing a little comparison with Shopify though you're, you you might argue Shopify is a stronger platform than Etsy uh, but if if anything is to go by uh, Etsy is doing very well itself and I think the, value, the current valuation is cheap enough that the risk is low enough that they'll continue to do well and it would be a good long-term hold into a company like Etsy. Um, yeah, until then, oh, I guess, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions. Until then, good luck investing, everyone.